Hello Troy Enthusiasts, my name is James and Tom the Fisherman is back. You guys were not expecting that I imagine because I never said that I was going to do another episode. However, I did an episode yesterday where I tried to defeat Duke Fishron and I gave up and I quit. And I stated that I didn't want to break the rules and I really really didn't. However, you guys have said that it'd be cool just to see me beat Duke Fishron anyway. And I think it'd be cool too and I really want to put in the time and effort into it so... We're going to do it today, hopefully. It's just going to take a lot of work, so there'll be a lot of jump cuts today because I want to compile a lot of things into one episode. So yes, I'm finally going to step up to the mark and actually beat this challenge. When I made yesterday's episode, I completely, and I say this wholeheartedly, was not in the right mind frame. I'd not had a really great day. I'd had some really, like, awful news that just, like, sucked. It put me in a really downy mood. Like, it really did suck. So when, when I was doing the episode, I was trying to do it to, to get my mind off of the fact of what I'd been told. And instead, I came across as if I was giving up, and I hate that. So today, we're going to do it. We're going to defeat it now. There is a step program to defeating this that I have got in my head. So I'm going to go for it with you guys so it's not a complete shocker. So let's go for it now. So... Step one. Step one, I'm going to farm for jungle crates because I need one of the speedy accessories from the jungle crates. I'm going to make them into the lightning boots. I'm going to use my lightning boots and then I'm also going to have to kill another hard mode boss, one of the mechanical ones because I need hallowed bars to make a drill to actually mine the chlorophyte. I'm going to get the chlorophyte, I'm going to make the turtle armor because I already have all the stuff. I'm going to farm for golem, I'm going to get the beetle armor. I'm going to kick its ass, right? That's the plan. Let me jump cut around today. Let me do this. I can do it. It's going to take a few hours, but that's cool. All right, so let's begin. And I'm sorry I gave up on you guys yesterday. I really do apologize. This series needed a better ending. Okay, so I'm here in the jungle. I'm going to do some crate fishing, like I said. And what I'm going to do, basically, is I'm going to farm away. I'm going to farm, farm, farm away for as long as I can and try and get as many jungle crates as I can. Okay, so I managed to find one jungle crate. It's a one in six chance. Can we be lucky today? Ah, not so lucky. Not so lucky. We'll keep fishing. Okay, we found another one. Come on. Ah, not so lucky. However, that staff of regrowth is actually really nice. Hey, we're getting really lucky now. Found another one. Uh, not just yet. Lots of good ores, though. Okay, we got another one. Come on. Yes! Alright, it's done. Okay, right. First step set in motion. Right, back to the house. Let's uh, let's craft some stuff. All right, we got our spectre boots here. Oh, we need to swap all these over. All right, we got our aglet here. All right, let's get a craft in. Where is our tinkerer's station? I believe it's in one of these chests. So, oh god, this is good. This is good. We're making good progress. We're making good progress because we're only at the start of the day. We have lots of time to work today. Right, I'm gonna put this in here because it ruins the aesthetic. No, I'm just kidding. All right, lightning boot, step one, step one. Right, I'm gonna reforge them and we're gonna move on to step two. Okay, so step two is in action. Step two was to defeat a mechanical boss. So, we're gonna be defeating the destroyer because that's the crafting summary I had. So, I'm gonna finish this fight and I'll show you what loot I get afterwards, but I'm just looking for the hallowed bars, so this fight really doesn't matter. Okay, so I managed to defeat the destroyer. Not too hard of a fight. I did get actually really low on health because I was playing it pretty stupid. So, let's combine the ones that we had before and the ones we got now and let us craft. Oh wait, how do you make the Drax again? James, you've forgotten. Drax. Oh, you need souls of fright, souls of might, souls of sight. Okay, not hard at all. Alright, where are my souls? I have lots of them. Right, they're fright, they're might. I've already got might out. Where's sight? I got some sight around here. I do have sight. I do have souls of sight because I never use them. Uh, they're flight. I don't know where I put them. Uh, maybe I've put them in my little piggy bank. Yeah, there we go. Souls of sight. Awesome. Right, so we can now craft. Dun 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 dun! dun the Drax. Which means that we'll be able to mine Chlorophyte, which we're going to go do now. Now, I'm going to do this in my own time. I'm going to do it as like a quick little cut, because obviously I'm just going to be mining. It's going to be very boring, but once we have this done, we can make the turtle. We can farm for Golem. Then we can do the Beetle Armor, which should be awesome. Okay, so I have my Chlorophyte, which I'm going to smelt down now. So, how much are we going to get? 
Uh, 73 pieces, not bad. And I also have my turtle shells, because I have four of them, so... Let's craft some turtle armor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what else can we craft afterwards? We can craft uh, a pickaxe, a chainsaw, some a jackhammer. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Maybe I'll use some of these uh, one day. Look at this one, ranged, awesome. Right, okay, so I've got these craft now. I can't craft the beetle set yet because I don't have enough stuff from the golem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like two or three kills of Golem, um, and hopefully get enough for the set. I need, I think it's 12 more pieces that I need personally, and then I'm ready to go. So, or is it 12 or 14? It's 12. Right, so I'm gonna go fight Golem a few times. I'm gonna do it off camera, just because it's like, that's the way I do it. What's our defense there? 77, what's it before? 46, or oh, 43. Okay, so, I'm gonna go do that now. I'm gonna get everything ready, and then we're gonna have a cool fight. Okay, guys, I'm absolutely baffled at this. I never knew this, but Pigron actually does damage. I've never noticed that. How crazy is that? I'm, I'm probably so dumb for not knowing that, but I've never noticed it. Obviously, we're going to get confusion if we keep doing this, but pretty crazy, isn't it? As if I've never noticed that. It's kind of nice, though. Oh, I've actually just noticed it's because of my armor. Yeah, um, attackers take full damage. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try build up a collection of lizard powered cells. I want to get at least two out of the way. And then my plan is to face Golem one after the other and hopefully I can kill him fast enough that I'm going to have enough to use one buff, if you get me. Like, I don't have to use two buffs. So that's the plan. I'm going to do this off camera, obviously, because I don't want to fill up the episode. You guys have seen me defeat this guy with no problem. It's a pretty good fight. And that's a mimic, isn't it? Okay, so two golem fights out the way. I just want to show you what I've got. So, if we put up a wall, we go over here where it's a little bit brighter. I know it's dark. I've got 16 beetle husk, which is more than what I need. I've got a possessed hatchet, which I'll probably not use. Um, and I also got a pig saw, which is nice. Um, and it's capable of... It's better than our drax, so we've already replaced the drax. We should have just farmed for this guy first. We'd have saved a bit of time. Is it better than the drax? Yeah, slightly better than the drax. Alright, so we need to go back to the house now. We're gonna do this together. Um, I need to turn off auto pause. I always have auto pause on, just in case. Just in case I need to take a break and such. I like to keep it on. So, we now have all of the beetle husks that we need. I do have some of them in the chest, so we're gonna get them out. Let's have a little look. Where are they? They'll be around. They will be around. There they are. The beetle husks. So, we can now take off our armor. We can upgrade it, and I'm going to upgrade it to the maximum defense, because uh, that's the plan. And what is it to upgrade? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh my god, it's not, they've not, one second. Let's make sure I've not got this wrong again. Sometimes I always do this. Right, Mithril Anvil, yeah. Mithril Anvil, where's my Mithril Anvil? Oh, there it is. I always get this, uh, I'm getting confused. Right, helmet, we're going to go for the defense, so we're going to go for this one. And we're going to go for the leggings. So, bam, bam, bam. We now have 91 defense instead of 77. And our set bonus is that beetles will protect you from damage. Awesome. So, we are almost ready. The second, well, the third part of this step, well, I guess that was the third part. I'm not too sure. Um, the next part of this step is to, one, increase our, like, I don't know. Right, we need to fix the stadium, basically. I'm going to go fix the stadium. I'm going to try and find a better way to do it. And then we're going to have an awesome fight. And hopefully we'll win. If we don't, we'll try again, and we'll try again, and we'll try again. Oh, hey, so this is cool. I found one of these massive, massive corrupt uh, mimics, which is cool. Um, really exciting, actually. I've not actually faced one on camera before, not the not the corrupt one. So I may kick it out for you guys. I'm just trying to farm at the minute for a truffle worm, so we can actually do this Duke fish run fight. So let's take out the corrupt mimic. And he's regenerating. There we go. Oh, my mana does not regen fast enough because I'm not taking obviously mana potions at the minute. There we go. Come on, buddy. Get wrecked. Get killed. Come on. All right, we'll see what he drops. Either way, I'm not using it. People keep saying that I should use these drops. I'm not using them because they're enemy drops. That doesn't count. Oh, he's gonna fly back up to us, isn't he? There we go. All right, okay. Stop falling down the bloody hole. You're gonna be like that. Right, okay, come on. 
Come on, meet your fate. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the book from um, Harry Potter 3. Uh, do you know the book that you have to rub the spine? What do we get? We got a... Um, where's it gone? Oh, enemies are less likely to target you. Increased damage and critical strength chance. Actually, that's not bad at all, is it? <laughs> we could use that. <laughs> Worked pretty well with the armor we've got on now, but nah, I'm not going to use it. But it's very, very cool, though. So we have returned. We are ready for the next fight now. Let me explain a few things to you before we begin. So, the new plan is to basically circle around like this, right? We have a layer here that's going to allow us to fly around. And when he's flying around and in his first phase, we're going to just zigzag around and avoid him like that. Now, in his second phase, we're going to have to be a little bit more lucky. Because obviously he's going to have really, really long tornadoes. Unlike in the first round where he has short ones. And because I'm not playing in 1080p, because yesterday it lagged out the video and I really don't want to do that again. We're going to have to do it in 720p. And just pray that they kind of fall in nicest locations. So... Also, I've made a change to potions than I did from yesterday. I now have two waves of potions, so this whole setup here is all about having great defense and windling him down slowly, because that's the plan. We're going to windle him down very slowly, so any potion under four minutes has now a second potion. So an endurance has two, magic power has two, swiftness has two. Four minutes in, bam, second buff. We're going to keep going until the last bit. So, that should help. I also have these in case we really come down to it, but that gives us potion sickness, and we don't really want that, so they're for emergencies only, if we're, like, completely struggling to hit him, and we've got lots of time left. So, I'm ready. I am ready. I'm not going to talk during this fight, just because I really need my full concentration. Alright. Let's. Be. Get. <laughs> All right, okay now to clear things up time for some serious Chippy serious chippy, okay So yesterday when I released my video I spoke about how I'm not gonna defeat Duke Fisheron Because to do it I would need to break the rules and I would need to mine chlorophyte and everyone told me that I was wrong Everyone told me that I was like giving up on my own Oh god, right. So, one comment that I got that really ticked me off, like, more than any, was Why play by stupid rules that you've set yourself only to only to stop when they fall through? Now, 
I was always going to stop at this one point, and my own rules, I didn't want to break them. That was a big thing. I didn't want to break my own rules. I'd stuck to a set of rules from the beginning to the end, and I wanted to do that. Now, today's episode is to prove to all of those who were rather negative yesterday about ending the series that I could have defeated Duke Fishron because I got a lot of comments saying that I couldn't. And I could. I could. But yeah, so thank you to every single one who left really nice comments yesterday. You guys did leave some really awesome comments. You were really, really nice. Like, like lots of you were. But there were a few that were just so annoyed that I'd ended the series before even watching the episode that they decided to be so dismissive. And I really don't like that because that's not who we are on Chippy Gaming. We are... I don't know, we're, we're a community. We're, we're a bunch of nice people. You shouldn't be dismissive when I have to end a series because it's over. Like, if a series is over, it's over. Like, the challenge is done. Today, the challenge has been finished. So, yes, last episode will be removed from YouTube. This will be the new final episode. And honestly, guys, thank you so much for sticking it out with me. Like, I really, really have loved this series. It's been my favorite series. Like, you have no idea. I love getting up every morning to record this and, like, sitting here because it takes a few hours a day. And, like, really, really pushing on with it. Like, it means so much to me. Like, it's such... It's, like, my funnest series that I do. Like, I really, really love it. I really, really do. So, guys, seriously, thank you so much for sticking it out. We have defeated Duke Fisheron, which was the end of the series. No Moon Lord, people. Moon Lord could be in the next series. Because the next series will be... dum 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 dum, dum. Expert mode. Because I said that I would finish it if I didn't do this. So I've got to finish it now, even if I suck. So yeah, so have a fantastic day, everyone. Honestly, everyone, if you like, everyone who left nice comments yesterday, thank you so much. Like, you know who you are. You, you're a cool dude. And if you're not a negative guy anyway, thank you so much. But to all the people that were doubting me yesterday on, like, such a horrible day for me. Seriously, guys. Seriously. Nah, I'm only kidding. Everyone's welcome here. So honestly, have a great day. Uh, it's done now. I'm really happy. Um... And I'll put the map up for download this time, which I didn't do yesterday because I was so annoyed.